So what are you working on right here? Well, this is a vase. And? I like vases. They can be any size or shape. Whereas if we're doing mugs, you know, they're all... We have a mug form that we like and they're all very similar, but with vases, you can be a little more creative. Where do you draw some of your inspiration from? Well, I, I suppose from nature. A lot of these forms are probably found in nature. But, uh, we kind of let the clay tell us what to do with it making a lot of decisions as you go along, making a pot. So you sort of have a basic idea when you start and then sort of see where it goes? Yeah, I, I think there are so many opportunities to uh, change the shape of the pot as you go along that uh, doesn't get boring and we come up with shapes that we've never seen before also and I've also been in museums and looked at pots that I could have made you know that uh, might be a couple thousand years old and they say there is nothing new under the sun probably so you ever find yourself sort of getting stuck in a rut when you're doing this I don't. Every piece of clay is a new opportunity, you know. And what we like is the ability to shape this clay and make it do what we want it to. What's one of your favorite things to throw? Well, vases. Uh, teapots are my least favorite. Why is that? Well, a teapot is five components, the body, the spout, the handle, the lid, and the knob on the lid. <laughs> so proportions are critical. And uh, they take a long time to assemble. They have to dry slowly. And we're usually hard pressed to get the next firing done. And I'm guilty of saying, oh yeah, well, I'll make teapots next, next time. Yeah. But uh, Jane is making them. <laughs> now you've been working with clay for a while. What, what do you like about it so much? I like the fact that it's so easy to shape it when it's wet. You don't need any sharp tools. And I like the fact that then when you fire it, it's transformed. And uh, there's a molecular rearrangement and it's never gonna be clay again. You know, it's gonna be ceramic, which comes from the Greek word karemos means fired earth. So clay is about the most common ingredient on the surface of the earth and lots of people don't know anything about it. Uh, Any advice for anybody looking to start out getting into it? Uh, I think it's it's something that you can learn in school but I think Apprenticeship is really the way to learn how to to do many things and being a potter is certainly one of those things. And I did a, a two-year apprenticeship with my teacher down in Georgia. Once I was good enough to make pots that were, that people wanted to buy, you know. I, uh, did a formal apprenticeship for minimum wage and the real pay was the knowledge 
and the experience of working with a potter who had been doing it for a long time and 